We are on lesson 3.9. We are on page 193 in your book. I feel like this lesson is pretty easy. Um, just make sure that you follow the steps. It's just counting jumps, okay? Um, if you follow the book instructions, then it wants you to count from zero every time. I don't like that. So just do it how I tell you and you'll be good to go. So let's find point A, which is two comma four. And this is just made up in my head. This isn't in the book. And then point B, which is negative two comma, <laughs> comma four. Okay. So point A, jump two places or run two places and then jump up four. One, two, three, four. So I'm gonna say that this is point A. And then point B, I'm gonna say negative two, started at my origin, one, two, and then jump four. One, two, three, four. Here is point B. And then this is where, this is the whole point of the lesson is to count your jumps. People don't always start where they need to start and people don't always end where they need to end and that is where they get mixed up. So, starting at A, you have to start on the dot, okay? And on your paper, you'll see like all these grid lines, okay? I didn't wanna draw all the grid lines. But there's the grid lines. So start on the dot and every time there's an intersection, that's where you need to land. So one jump, two jumps, three jumps, four jumps. These two points are four units apart. That's the whole lesson, okay? Is it just how far away is this dot from this dot? So going on, with, I have to pick low numbers because I didn't draw many lines on my grid. So let's go to problem number five in your book on page 193. Okay, so we have a negative two, negative six. I'll change colors. Negative two, negative six. One, two, three, four, five. It's gonna be all the way down here. We're gonna label that point A. And negative two comma five, negative two comma five, one, two, three, four, five, which is all the way up here. I'm gonna get rid of my blue. I don't want it to be distracting. Okay, um, here's a helpful hint. They will always be in a straight line. Okay, there's never gonna be some diagonals. So you're just like, I don't know how to jump on these or whatever. So they'll always be in a straight line. So this one um, was negative six. So I know that it's gonna be at least six jumps to get here, but I'm just gonna jump just to be in case. Uh, just in case, one, two, three, four, five, six jumps. And I know that this was a five, so I know it's gonna take five more jumps, but I have to remember six. Um, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, okay. So this is 11 units apart. 11 jumps apart. Remember, I start on a dot and I go to a dot and anytime there is an intersection or a crisscross, you have to land at that intersection. Um, I want you on your worksheet to do number two, three, and four. Number one is very confusing, so on lesson on this lesson 3.9, do lesson uh, do number two, three, and four. I feel like this will be kind of easy for you. Use this graph um, to do your jumps. It'll be very helpful. Okay, this is the back of lesson um, 3.9, and. I'm gonna do this first one for you 
And then your job is to fill out this one and the third one. You don't need to do anything on this writing portion, okay? So on number one, at the top of this chart, it says, Natalie starts at the museum. And then it asks for the starting point or the starting coordinate. So down here, I need to find where it says the museum. And there's the museum right there. I need to um, find what that coordinate is. I know that I have to run back to negative six. And I have to jump up to positive six. Please make sure that you're using your positive and, well, not positive number or symbols, but negative symbols. Um, and make sure that you're putting it in the parentheses. Please make sure that you're separating it with a comma. All right, so now we need to go east eight units. And I have a compass down here, and east is going towards the right. It is going that direction, eight units. So, actually I'm gonna switch to a pencil so I can erase this later. One jump, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here is my new point right there at that crisscross. And then I need to write down this coordinate and put it right here in this second slot. So run first and I run to positive two, comma, and then I need to jump, and I jump to a positive six. Okay, from this point that I just made, I need to go south nine units, and south is downward. So, get out my pencil again, and I'm gonna do nine jumps, because that's what this up here told me to do, nine jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And on my ninth jump, I need to stop there and I need to write down my new coordinate. I run first and I get a two. And I need to dive and I'm between the negative two and the negative four. And so I know that that is a negative three. All right. From this point that I was just at, I need to move east four units. So starting at my dot where I last was, I need to move eastward, which is to the right. One, two, three, four. Put a new dot, write down my coordinate. I ran to number six, and I dove down to negative three. Put it in parentheses. My last step is to go north, which is going upward, six units. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, this is where people get confused. They need to write down this coordinate. So, I ran to six, and I jumped up between two and four. So that is a positive three. And then it says, what is your destination? And my new destination, that says park. So I need to write in the word park, okay? I did this first one for you. You need to do this second one and this third one by yourself. Do not do any of this writing. Have an amazing day. See you later.